Hello, everybody. Welcome to HMC Med Kitchen with Dr. Williams. Today we have a special guest with us. I've asked Bonnie Tandock to join us. Um, part of the reason I've done that is because when I think of food people, and by that what I mean is uh, people who see food as important and who enjoy healthy eating, I think of Bonnie. So, uh, Bonnie, I'm glad you're here. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. And uh, I thought as we get started, I just ask you, um, why is food important to you? Well, first, because I really like to eat. And um, yes. as uh, uh, I was married and had a family, uh, we liked to eat together and we cooked together. And it was a time of, of gathering for us. And we talked about not only what we prepared, but um, um, eating eating the good food and other food adventures we've had. And um, it was a time to share just togetherness as a family. Yeah, food brings people together. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's important. Well, again, Bonnie, thanks for joining us today. And uh, I've asked you to bring one of your favorite recipes with you. And that's what we're going to cook. So what are we going to be making today? Well, I thought we would do something we've done traditionally in our family, uh, Filipino barbecue. Most of you know that my husband was a Filipino and um, I grew into that culture cooking food for him. And um, that's what um, our children learn to cook and eat. And so we'll share those recipes today. Sounds exciting. Let's get started. Today we'll be using uh, basmati rice, and the reason I chose that is because it smells good when it's cooking. Um, put enough rice to serve your family. Usually one cup of rice is going to make two and a half cups of cooked rice. We have to rinse it first. Why do you rinse it, Bonnie? Well, because it, there's a talc on it, and you don't want to um, you don't want to have um, cloudy rice with the talc on it. Rinse it so the water's clear and then um, and then you can cook it and you'll have nice um, individual grains of rice that taste real good. I usually rinse it about three times and then fill it just enough and just enough for me I can't turn off the water I'm sorry just enough for me is if you stick your finger in should be one knuckle of water above the rice. Awesome. Awesome is right. It's really hard to do. <laughs> and then we put it in the rice cooker. Now you can cook rice on the stove, but we had to get a rice cooker at my house because I burned it every time. <laughs> uh, cooking it in a saucepan, you really have to watch it very carefully carefully watch it closely we've had um, smoke filled kitchen and a really rice smells bad burned so you want to cook it in a rice cooker if you possibly can yeah we mm. use a rice cooker at our house too mm -hmm. so makes sense next we'll start to um, make some Filipino pork um, we typically would um, cut this pork up using a pork shoulder um, cut it into small cubes, and then we marinate it. So we'll demonstrate to you what the pork looks like chopped up, and then we'll make the marinade and cover the pork with the marinade. So you've already cut this pork. What size pieces do you cut it in? Usually uh, about um, an inch or half inch piece. Now this pork is actually a little bit fatty and unfortunately it needs to have a little bit of fat on it because when you grill it, it dries out too much if you don't, if you don't have a little bit of fat. Um, a lot of that fat goes away when it you does, grill. It does when in the you when you process. grill it or broil it too, right? All so, right. So we have some pork shoulder here, cut into what'd you say about one inch pieces, right? Or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So now we need to make the marinade. So right. what goes in the marinade? So we'll start with soy sauce, and we usually use um, a, a light soy sauce, low sodium, because we will actually add some salt to that in a little bit. So a quarter cup of of um, soy sauce. All right. 
and we will add a tablespoon of salt. That sounds like a lot of salt, and if it is indeed for your family, don't use that much. Use a little bit less. Um, you'll learn what you like uh, as you taste it to cook. Next, we'll add a clove of vinegar that, I'm sorry, a clove of garlic. Okay, we'll add a clove of garlic. <laughs> uh -huh, that you've minced which you can either mince or you can purchase, minced, and two tablespoons of vinegar. There you go. And a tablespoon of honey or a natural sweetener like agave. Um, you could, of course, use sugar. That would be um, probably a little bit more traditional, but um, any nice sweetener will work. Then um, stir it up and make sure it's nicely blended and then we'll put that onto the pork and let that marinate. Usually an hour uh, is the least that you would do it. We've been in a frantic hurry sometimes at our house and done it much faster than that. It doesn't taste quite as good. Then um, if, if you like, if you prefer, you can marinate it for um, overnight. That's really quite, quite nice. Smells good. It tastes good too. Then, once it's marinated, and we'll pretend that it is, then you take a bamboo skewer, and you can purchase these at the Chinese store, but I've also noticed that Dylan's has them. Um, so probably Walmart too. You, you uh, uh, pick up your meat, and it's not easy to do, and you have to be very careful because two things happen. Number one, you can poke yourself with the skewer, which hurts real bad, or and sometimes the skewer will splinter a little bit. You want to be careful that you don't um, get a splinter into the meat. And then I like to pack the meat fairly close together, but not too tightly because then sometimes it won't cook well. Uh, if you do that, and sometimes your meat will fall off the skewer, and sometimes you have to search for a way to get it on. And then, don't hurt yourself, please. I'll try not to hurt myself in front of you. Yeah, I'll try not to poke you. Yeah, that you won't poke me. I might poke you. I'm the clumsy one. So we've got it mm, skewered, and then you put these on the grill just like this. Sometimes on the grill you have to turn it to be able to get both sides cooked well. You can also do it in the oven, uh, broiling it. We sometimes do that in the winter when it's too cold to go out and grill. Um, and it tastes quite similar, although nothing's better than grilling. Although, well, and right now, uh, unfortunately, I don't have my grill up and running yet. Well, a little I'm, early in the season for me, sorry right, about that. That's okay. So we will put these in the oven. Okay, Let me that just sounds like a here. Plan. All Let right. me get a little, uh, um, little pan for that. And we'll just stick those on there. So what do you think? Is a, is one skewer about a serving? Or, Usually. Yeah. Typically uh, that would be so, although when you're making, like we're, we talk about a, a one and a half pounds of pork in the recipe, because typically when you're gathering a number of people together um, and talking and, you know, visiting, you might eat more than one skewer. Sure. Yeah, sure. right. And we serve it as a meal. Let's pop these in the okay, oven. Okay, good. So what temperature would you do those at in the oven? Broil. <laughs> Broil. Hot. 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 Right. And they don't take very long to cook. Yeah. 10 or 15 minutes, okay. probably max. Good. We'll keep a close eye on those then. Okay. What, uh, what are we going to do next? Well, cucumber and tomato salad. Okay, great. First, we chop some onion very finely, and uh, we'll prepare to put that in the actual dressing um, because we, we're only using one cucumber in this recipe, so we won't want to have too much dressing. We'll take a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar. All righty. Rice wine vinegar can be purchased at Dillon's as well as any, any of the Chinese stores. All right, what else? Uh, a tablespoon of either sugar or honey or a natural sweetener. We'll use a little bit of honey, and I'm okay. pretty good at guessing a tablespoon. Okie dokie. There we go. A teaspoon of salt, maybe a half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon a of salt. A half a teaspoon of salt. All right. All right. And we're going to put that into a small saucepan and heat it up. 
All right, let's do that. Okay. And boil it. We'll boil it for however long it takes to bring it to a nice boil. And then pop in the onion. It will not take this long to boil on this particular stove. No, it won't. Aside from that, it's not a large quantity of liquid, right. so right. it will quickly do what we wish it to. Oh my goodness, that is a fast stove. And once it's boiling, you add the onion there? Add the onion. All right, this is uh, two tablespoons of onion? Correct. And how long does that need to cook? It doesn't. You take it off the off the stove right now. All right, that's good to go. Mm -hmm. And let it cool. So um, how do you like to prepare your cucumbers and tomatoes for the salad? Well, typically I would use uh, cherry tomatoes, but if we have really nice ripe garden tomatoes, we'll use those and chop them into little pieces. A little early for that, unfortunately. It is, but... so we're using cherry tomatoes from the grocery store. All right. And we'll chop them in halves, it's just fine. All right. And while you're doing that, I'll do the cucumber. Sounds good. Okay. Tell me about your cucumbers. The cucumbers, we take a whole cucumber. I really like the long um, English cucumber. I don't think they're English, are they? They're long cucumbers that are wrapped in uh, a saran wrap of, at the Dillon store because they're crunchier and they don't have as many seeds. I like to uh, peel strips of the, of the skin off and then I run a fork down the green remaining skin because I think food should be beautiful as well as tasty. Also get rid of the seeds because they tend to make more liquid in the in the salad and dilute the flavor a little bit. So we've done that. Uh, cut, cut these and then chop them into cubes. And I didn't grow up cooking in a Chinese restaurant or any other restaurant so my chopping is kind of irregular sometimes and um, my kids will talk to me about that but I do it anyway I do it my way they learned that a long time ago too then we'll put our mix our salad together and in a few minutes that dressing despite the fact that it boiled will be nice and cool and then we can add it to the salad and um, we usually add a little bit of uh, pepper to it sometimes if you like pepper to taste and some people don't so we don't you know it's kind of what you'd like to do with it and can you believe it that salad will be done in a heart here's our dressing we'll just add that in of course we like fresh cracked pepper we'll add just a little bit of that Good. Let's stir that up and let it sit for a little bit. I don't like to refrigerate this salad once we've made it because um, the tomatoes, I don't, I, they don't taste good if they've been refrigerated. The flavor seems to be much more intense if they're fresh out of the garden or f fresh from the store. Looks delicious. I think it is. All right. I think you'll like it. Shall we talk about dessert? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Good idea. I made a, um, uh, a Filipino favorite. Um, it's uh, almond gelatin. So actually, it's a homemade variation of Jello. Um, however, I think it's got more protein. It's a little bit, uh, well, I could, maybe it's a little bit healthier. I'm not sure. Um, it's got almonds in it. It has almonds in it, and it has milk in it, and um, it has gelatin in it. All right. <laughs> so Sounds there you good. go. That has to make it good. Um, what well, I make mine on a large scale, so I usually um, start with four cups of water to make a serving this big. That would serve my family and um, probably two or three other families. Um, for dessert. So how do you serve this? We cut it in cubes. Cut it in cubes. Cubes. Right. Little cubes or sure. big cubes? Little cubes. All right. Unless you're going to carry it to work for lunch, which I do sometimes. And then uh, bigger cubes. And I like to make, I like to let it sit until it's room temperature because it's softer. It's not as, as um, 
um, Knox gel, Knox blocks. Does anybody remember Knox blocks? It's a little bit like that if you're serving it cold. I like it. I like it. Um, Almost more like a custard when it warms it, up. Well, it's still in a cube. It doesn't lose its shape, but right. it will be like a, it's like a, a soft jello, um, but it does maintain its shape. I think because there's a fair amount of um, gelatin in it, so the protein source is um, a little bit stronger. So then we serve it to make it pretty, serve it in a pretty cup. Right. And uh, first we would probably put in a couple mandarin oranges. Oh, okay. I mean, after all, we talked about food being attractive, and that's what we'd like. So one in, in the other cup, too. There you go. It's so fun to tell you what to do. Yeah. Uh -huh, I love it. I'm good at following instructions. Uh, I, I, good. That's good. <laughs> and then some of these? Yes. All right. And then... There you go. Is that about right? It looks good. All right, let's do some in the other You didn't chop here. them up so nice. I know. What's the matter with you? Well... Uh-huh. Already know. Yeah. It's okay. There we go. And then some more mandarin oranges, and off we go. We've got dessert. All right. That's pretty and tasty and cool and refreshing and wonderful for summer. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. We're good to go. All right. Thank you. I wonder if our skewers are done. I'm betting they are. I bet they are. <laughs> and our salad's ready, too. Mm. They look delicious. <laughs> they do. I'll let you plate us up a plate, Bonnie. Okay, great. First, we'll put the rice on the on the plate and typically I would want to make it look beautiful so we'll spread the rice out a little and then we'll take a beautiful skewer and lay it across the plate and then we have our salad which should be quite delicious and refreshing to go with the warm skewers that are salty a little bit and Mmm, they have great, my favorite word, umami. So here we have our Filipino barbecued pork with some basmati rice, and we have a nice cucumber and tomato salad to enjoy. Thanks for joining us today, Bonnie, and cooking with us. Well, thank you for having me. I uh, hope you enjoy what we made. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. I'm going to get this off the skewer. That's sometimes the hard part. That's the hard part. I took mine off ahead of time. <laughs> Smart. Because it's easier. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Salad's good. That pork has got a little saltiness to it. It does have that kind of deep umami flavor to it with that it soy does. sauce. It does because other of the soy sauce. And we also have an umami flavoring, which is a savory flavoring with the tomatoes. Sometimes people will add fish sauce to a cucumber salad like this, yeah. and it also adds that depth of kind of a meaty, meaty, clearly not meaty with, with the fish sauce, but it is uh, something that our body recognizes in our taste buds as a flavor that um, makes us feel good and feel um, full. Delicious. Thank you. Let's uh, let's try the uh, the dessert now. This is an almond gelatin. Correct. With some mandarin oranges. With mandarin oranges. Let's mm -hmm. give it a try. It's also delicious. Cool and refreshing in the summertime, but my kids like it all year round. That does have nice sweet flavor. Oranges really set it off. Mm-hmm. I think so too. Very good. Thank you, Bonnie, for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us at HMC Med Kitchen, where we love food that loves you back. See you next time.